Hello again, everybody. It's me, Marcus, and I review stuff. Today I'm reviewing the song "Assassin" by Muse. Uh, so keeping the Muse train going, guys. We uh, I get so many requests for Muse, so so many requests for Muse um, that I'll probably just end up listening to their entire discography at some point. Um, but anyway, uh, I really liked what I've heard from them so far. I was just listening to Plug In Baby a few minutes ago, as a matter of fact, before I started recording. Uh, man, still love the guitar in that song. So uh, that's something that's really impressed me with me so far as guitar work, and then of course Matt Bellamy's voice. It's a fantastic um, part of of Muse here. So anyway, this one does come as a request. As always, if you would like to make a request, please just leave a comment down below, and I'll be sure to get to it eventually. But anyway, listen, let's listen to this one. This is Muse Assassin. Hopefully, it doesn't get blocked. Uh, the, Muse seems to be like a roller coaster of getting blocked. Like one video doesn't, and then one video does, and then one video doesn't, and one video does. I, I don't know, uh, but we'll, we'll we'll do what we can do here. So yeah, Muse Assassin. Well, that was enjoyable. <laughs> uh, I was not expecting that, like at all. Um, so I, I got to keep it real with you guys. I got to keep it real. I, I, I can't lie. Uh, I was not looking forward to this video coming in. Uh, you, you know, in my last Muse review, which got blocked, so you guys never get to, got to see it. Um, 
I, I mentioned how I'm kind of tired of listening to Muse at this point, uh, because to me a lot of their music was starting to s sort of fall into the same pattern, uh, into the same sound, and I was able to kind of pinpoint the Muse sound, and I, did, I was tired of hearing it at, at song after song after song. Um, to the point where I was like, yeah, like I appreciate their music for what it is, but at the same time, I'm just like, eh, I've heard it, you know, I've, I've heard this song before because I've heard another Muse song before. Um, and so this song, like I said, I wasn't really looking forward. I was just like, hey, let's knock it, let's knock out this Muse request. Why not? Let's get it out of the way. Um, so I, yeah, I wasn't really looking forward to it. But the moment the music started, I was like, okay, all right. You know, I feel like this was much different from what I had identified as the Muse sound. I mean, it's still undoubtedly Muse, but it's, it, I can't really describe it right now having not listened to one of the songs uh, that has the Muse sound into it, to it, but uh, I'm sure many of you who have heard much of their music has probably, probably knows what I'm talking about, but I feel like this was a good song for me to really break from that monotony that I, I was starting to get with Muse. Um, and kind of you know maybe uh, maybe jumpstart my energy for them again. So hopefully um, the next <laughs> whichever next uh, request I decide to take on from them will will be sort of like this high energy. Really loved uh, just the rock style here. Drummer was losing his mind, man. Uh, really liked this one uh, a lot. So anyway, as always, let's let's go ahead and break it down. Um, let's start with verse one. War is overdue. The time has come for you to shoot your leaders down, join forces underground. You know, the song is called Assassin, so I'm assuming they're going to assassinate, like, world leaders, political leaders, what have you. Uh, lose control and increasing pace. Warped and bewitched, it's time in time to erase whatever they say. These people are torn, wild, and bereft. Uh, assassin is born, yeah. And so maybe uh, the assassin is born through political need, you know, um, because of, of what's going on in the world. Uh, whoa, yeah, aim, shoot, kill your leaders, aim, kill them all. Oppose and disagree, destroy democracy, or does it say de demonocracy? I didn't really catch that part, actually. Um, like, like a government run by demons? Hmm. Uh, lose control and increasing pace warped and bewitched in time to erase whatever they say these people are torn wild and bereft assassin is born yeah and so again to me it, it sounds like um when it says like assassin is born it's not saying like like a child is born to eventually become an assassin it, to me it sounds like a normal push person is pushed to the edge so much so that they become an assassin they're they're willing to fight against this this political um corruption and greed or what have you um so yeah you know pretty simplistic lyrically but still something interesting to think about i mean i, I it, it's to that point where I, I can honestly still be reading it wrong um and so to me i mean that that's that's always a, so a sign of something that i kind of like is when a song makes me think a little bit um where the 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 um lyrics may not always be front and center and and, and surface level um, so I think it's pretty interesting. I'll give it two thumbs up for lyrics. Um, where I really, really appreciated this song, as I kind of mentioned before, is the instrumentation. Man, the guitar playing throughout this song was fantastic, and, and a lot heavier than I think what I'm used to with Muse. Um, drummer, man, that drummer was losing his mind. He he had some really sick like little drum solos, drum fills, whatever you want to call them. Uh, throughout the song that I was just like, damn, dude, that was awesome. And then the bass ties it all together. So I, I think it was just like, uh, man, instru instrumentally, this this one was a lot of fun for me. Uh, of course, Matt Bellamy, Bellamy sounds great on vocals as well. Um, and, and, and the whole song is really composed tightly together. But man, I would come back to this song for the those drum solos alone. I, I, I love the drums. And, and to hear the drummer get his kind of time in the sun, love that. Um, but on top of that, they gave me that, that nice, heavier uh, rhythm, you know, at least heavier as far as Muse goes. Um, with with still some like progressive elements in it and just really fanciful guitar work that I really enjoyed so honestly the instrumentation here gets two big thumbs up from me sounded great again uh, easy to rock out to a little bit heavier than what I'm, what I'm used to from them uh, and so that really helps out the replay value you know plug in baby because of that beautiful awesome amazing guitar uh, has been in my rotation pretty regularly. Um, Knights of Sidonia gets its play, and, and I listened to that song before I actually started the channel, so I'm very familiar with that song. 
Um, but then, like, now I think Assassin will probably also get some pretty decent playtime in my playlist just because, uh, man, that instrumentation was fantastic. So for replay value, I'm giving this one two thumbs up as well. I can I can see myself uh, wearing it out a little bit. So um, anyway, this was, a, this was a good one. I, I want more Muse like this where, it, you know, it, it's uh, high energy. It it uh, this does something a little bit different from I guess what I'm getting used to is the Muse sound, um, and so you know if you have more Muse like this, please let me know. I have so many Muse requests that honestly, whatever you tell me to go listen to, someone else has already probably told me to go listen to. So you know, uh, but, but we'll see. Um, anyway, if you enjoyed the music, please go support the artist. Go listen to the music wherever you can. One place you can definitely find Muse is going to be in my Spotify playlist. It's in the description below. It's got every single song I've listened to so far on the channel. Makes for a pretty, uh, yeah, it's a pretty weird listen, honestly. There's a lot of genres in there now. Um, but uh, if you want to support me, all the normal stuff you do on YouTube, just like and subscribe and comment. Well, that's it for me. Hope you guys are staying safe and healthy, and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye.